Now at the plate, Bo Bichette. He will lead this one off today. Bo Bichette. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Pitch, 1 o'clock. Ball 1, no strike. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees, our temperature at first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Batting second, the right fielder, number 15, Randall. Grichik. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Aye. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Lourdes Guriel. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Guriel. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull a string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be super aggressive. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. And Contreras nabs him with a strong throw to second. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Ready now, Kyle Schwarber. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Off for the Cubs, the left fielder. Infield in Kyle. the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss. Two quick strikes to start his afternoon. So he goes back to back with the same pitch and got him to chase it both times. He's clearly not picking up that pitch very well. So he was confident doubling up. Does he triple up on it? It's always tough to go back to back to back. It's not a good idea to show a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Kyle Schwarber is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And it's fouled away. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. Fly ball right down the line and left. Hernandez is in pursuit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. Batting third. The first baseman, Anthony. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As he rips it on the ground to second. Bichette gathers it in. On to first and there are two down. So a man at third here with that two gone, good. and that'll bring up Chris baseman. Bryant. Chris Bryant. Here comes the first pitch. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Comes set. The 0-1. Slow little grounder left side. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning and into bat next the third baseman Kyle Seeger. Kyle 
Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. That is good. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. And the plate Jr. now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He swings and it's a line drive to left center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. That is good. The left fielder. Teoscar. So that'll bring Hernandez. in Teoscar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And their runners at the corners now. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Outside, two and one. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. To two and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. Hernandez connects and sends it to deep left. Into the bleachers and gone. Here's Cameron Mabin now. The center fielder. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. One ball, one strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Three balls and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. Hit the other way out toward right field. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. Brandon Drury will bat next. The designated hitter. Brandon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Three runs already home here. A swing and a ground ball to third. But a foul ball. One and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. And it's a full count, three and two to the Blue Jays DH. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And he popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Now batting. Second base hit. To the plate Bo now, Bo Bichette. Bichette. As he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. A ball and two strikes now. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches. And ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. Popped up. Kipnis has a play. 
No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here and next go. to hit is the, the catcher, top. Wilson Contreras. Hey, we're still in the Wilson. early stages in this one. They're only John down by a Red couple Red. of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Sends that one out of play for strike one. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. A ball and a strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. The pitch. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Batting fit. So Not one away here stop. with the bases Javier. empty, and into bat next, the versatile Javier. weapon, Javier Baez. Down the third baseline. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. First two men in the inning have both Garrett gone down Rocky. via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And here's Gritcher to make the catch, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll Leading bring forth the, the veteran outfielder, the Rendell right Gritchick. One of the Randall. keys to securing a win. Randall. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Just short, hit hard. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Change up low, 2 and 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Drilled right back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one out single. Now batting, the third baseman, Kyle. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat. It's strike one. Seeger is one of the very few left handed bats that displays a lot of power against left handed pitching. He drives the ball well in these matchups, which simply has not been the case very often in baseball. Yeah, and I think it all starts with his front shoulder. I mean, so many times you see left-on-left -left matchups, and what is it? Slider in the dirt, fastball that lights up a left-handed batter. Not with this guy. He keeps his approach short, keeps that front shoulder tucked, and plays pitch. with the big part of the field. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. A base hit in his first trip. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Fouled away. Guriel at second. Seeger at first. One gone. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Teoscar Hernandez digging now in now. Left fielder. Yeah, in this last that bat, he hit a changeup Hernandez. out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Two men are on with two men out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. A 
Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He won't... Looking at a fastball to end the inning. <laughs> Bottom of the inning now. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. The right fielder, Jason. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hayward. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. In that now, Jason Kipnis. The second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Here comes the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And, and the dirt, did he go around? Yes, he did. Jansen goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. Kipnis is retired. Now Two down now. The left fielder. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. To first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So stepping in, Cameron Maben. He flew out in his last at bat. The center fielder, First pitch four. of the at bat. Cameron Maben. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber is there. One pitch, one out. Stepping up now, Brendan Drury. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And a ball, 1 and 0. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The Digging in, Danny Number Jansen. Nine. One for one after a single this first time up. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. One and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out. And we'll have to leave it there. As this Leading off the inning, Ian Happ. And they'll need him to get something going here. The center fielder. Ian. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Count even now at one and one. Fouled off. Oh. The one-two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Line drive to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. The first base so the base is empty 24. here with one away. And Anthony. that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. 
Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And there are two away now. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Down the first baseline. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And a good job to get to it quickly and get it back in. That'll hold him to a two out single. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. John Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras as he rips it on the ground to second. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Standing in, Javier Baez. First time Javier. up, he went down looking. Yeah, always Baez. frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. The 0 1 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. The 3-1. Three a swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Now batter. Next will be the designated hitter, Victor Caratini. Caratini. First offering on its way. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced He's thrown the first pitch strike to. Behind 0-2 now. The 0-2. And, and a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. A great job of holding up right there. Little two-out lightning might ensue by one check swing holding up. Sent on the ground out to second. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Now batting right fielder. Here's Jason Hayward now Hayward. as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Line toward right center. Richard is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. New inning set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman, Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. Count one and oh. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. Hit high and deep to right center. Hayward on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The Ready right once again, number. Rendell Gritcher. He was retired Randall. via the ground ball Randall. last time up. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. And the pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Ball, one strike. On the ground to third. 
And that's the second out. Stepping into the box, Lourdes Guriel. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now a swinging bunt. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Jason Kipnis. He'll leave things off as we... Begin the home fifth. The second baseman, Jason. Ready with the first pitch. Yes, yes. Here it comes. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And he falls behind 0-2. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. I really like watching Roddy stole that cutter in on lefty's hands like that. This one was down too, and if he hits it, there's a pretty good chance he's going to pound it into the ground. Maybe even give himself a shin burger. The so he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jason Kipnis is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. A ball and no strikes. One and one to Schwarber. One ball, one strike. The one one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. The center fielder, number And eight. that'll bring in the Pittsburgh Ian. area native Ian Happ. Ah. Shaw fields it cleanly. There's oh. one on to He's first up. as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in is the veteran third, the third baseman, baseman, Kyle Seeger. Kyle. First Seager. pitch of the at-bat on its way. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. He's getting his Rabbit. first plate appearance of the Shaw. game here in the sixth. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging oh, in to Oscar team. Hernandez. He no, was punched team. out looking at hey, strike Oscar. three last Hernandez. time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Well, and that misses one and one. one and one. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Hit to third. 
Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting Cubs. first baseman, Anthony the Rizzo. Baseman. Things not looking Anthony. very good so far in this one, but we're still Rizzo. in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Coming to the plate now, Chris Bryant. One for two. Red. Grounded out first time up and oh, followed yeah. that with a base hit. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. Behind 0 and 2 now. Just a touch outside, 1 and 2. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. And he fouls this one off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. And he struck him out. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Contreras. And error allowed him to reach base. in his last appearance. John Perez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. A 1-1. Taken, strike two. Baker comes at hitters with a good hard fastball, one that's certainly fun to watch. He's a throwback to kind of guys that he like. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Stepping in, Cameron Mabin. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Cameron Mabin. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. A 1 1. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. A bouncer up the middle. There's Baez. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number three. So one away now in the Toronto seventh. Brandon. And into bat next, it'll be Brandon Drury. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. And even one and one count to Brandon Drury. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one two. Is taken for ball two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Hot shot on the ground is short. A dive, and he knocks it down. Crow will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting the a one-out base runner. Number nine. Up next is Danny Jansen. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. 
on the ground is short. Could this be two? Kipnis on to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. And that brings up Javi Baez. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a blue and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Swing and a liner, but foul. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down now for the back, first out. The designated hitter. Striding Victor. forward now is the DH, Gerard Victor Gigi. Caratini. A fly out and a single for him so far. Oh, Owen yeah. won the count. And it's quickly Owen two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Rabal. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now batting right fielder. Jason. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. And it's fouled away. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. High in the air out to center field. Maben is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two now men back. out. And second standing baseman. in now, the power Kipnis. hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Kipnis. On one. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Maybe a favorable call there, taken for a strike. Guide into very shallow right. Grichuk is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth, and that will bring in the second baseman, the Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. Alec Mills has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. For the Chicago Cubs, number 30. Alex. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No. Oh, this right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Fouled away. The 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Contreras corrals it. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. The right fielder, number two. Digging in once again, Randall, Randall Gritchick. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Line toward the alley in left center, and he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. The bat, number 13, shortstop, Mortis Guriel. At the plate, Mortis Guriel. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. Two gone. So here's the cleanup batter, Kyle Seeger. So far, two Kyle for three in this one. Seager.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Seeger right field and carrying well. Back goes Hayward to the track. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis no, Shaw. Please. As he will Rapid. swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Grounded back up the middle. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. He's got a hit in go. three at Schwarber bats tough. to this point. It doesn't no look left, very promising so far in this one as we move into the later Schwarber. innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hernandez has to run a ways before he gets there in time to record the out. How That's about that? Fielder. Number eight. Into the box, Ian, Ian Happ. He was a double Happ. play victim last time around. First pitch of the at bat. Weak grounder down the line at third. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Slow roller down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Line drive to center field. Maben is there, two gone. Striding into the box. The Rizzo. He's hit missing three at bats to this point. Rizzo. David Bodie will we'll get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with Number two 13. out and the base is empty. David Bodie. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. And now a pitch on the way. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. All set to start the ninth in this one, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The Next to bat for Toronto, Cameron Maben. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Strike one to start the at bat. Hard on the ground towards short, and there's his first base hit in this one. Hap scoops it up. The batter, the designated hitter. In now, Brendan Drury runners off for second. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. Yeah. 
into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Maven rounds third and is digging for the plate. Safe at the plate as they push the lead to five now. But he slams on the brakes now as he'll retreat back to first, content with a single. Now batting, number nine. So now to the plate, Danny Jansen. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well-executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Now batter. Now in the box, Bo Bichette. Bo. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Popped him up. Baez is there. And the inning is over. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next will be the imposing power bat. Chris Bryant. First pitch coming. Here it is. I couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. And it's one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. A great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have to sit on something else? And the throw to first is in time, one gun. There's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now batting. The shortstop. Javier. Baez. Here's Javier Baez. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. A ball and a strike. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Now batting. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Victor Caratini. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. He checks his swing. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Rusty Valentine. Ball one. A 1-1. One, one. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Hit in the air down the left field line. Hernandez is in pursuit, and no one will track it down. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very